Your hometown show is brought to you by your hometown bank, Adirondack Bank, member FDIC. Streaming on our free WIBX 950 app and simulcast on WFXV Fox 33. This is Keeler. All right, so the word uh, finally, finally came about bowling alleys uh, opening up last week, and uh, they have been able to open now. Tony LaPola is the owner of Vista Lanes. He's on the line right now. Tony, finally, bowling alleys have been allowed to to open up. Finally. Finally, finally. Thank you. So uh, tell me what, uh, what, what changes you guys have had to implement, and what are some of the restrictions? Well, there's a lot of gu- plenty of guidelines that uh, Governor Cuomo and his staff has given us, and we already gave him the protocols. Um, naturally, every time you walk into the Boeing Center, you have to wear a mask. Yeah, we still do so- social distancing. Uh, people have to stay away from each other. Um, when they're bowling, they can take their turn as it comes. Um, Right now, the way it is, you still have to wear your mask even when you roll the ball down, too. Oh, okay. Wow. We're going to be at 50% capacity, All right. which is going to be hard, but at least we're open and we can handle that. Yeah. Do you still uh, Are you still able to do food and beverage and that sort of thing? Well, yeah. We can serve. And that's another um, guideline that we have to follow. If a bowler was to order food um, or have order alcohol, he has to be served food with it uh-huh. on the initial order. Yep. So that's bars and restaurants, and that's what they're pertaining to. So, you know, these are going to be tough to follow, but um, we'll probably have a, a light menu where people can order just something. Okay, I yeah. mean, I'm sure cheese and crackers and pepperoni, which is our biggest seller, uh-huh. um, they can order that. Small pizzas, they can order that. Unfortunately, the only thing that's not uh, ready to open yet is um, pool playing. We have four pool tables in our uh, bowling bowling center, and darts and uh, that that's not open uh, okay. for um, discussion just yet. All right, <clears throat> but at least these bowling alleys have you've been allowed to reopen, which is uh, finally finally. And uh, I don't know how businesses like yours have have been able to survive through all of this. It's been a real tough run. Well, I had a tough summer. Luckily, it has it that I did get some money, which they call the PPP from yeah. uh, the government, and it's not enough to really get me by. Yeah. But now that we can open, we should be safely um, coordinated with everything that's coming in. Okay. Yep. Now, I believe I got a couple buddies who bowl. Uh, this is a we're approaching league time. Can you do leagues? Do you got to do half capacity leagues? Can you talk about that? Well, the way the rule is now, and we're trying to get it verified uh, with the governor's office. Um, see, we're a big organization. Uh, it's called BPAA, it's Bowling Proprietors Association of America. And uh, New York State has their own uh, rules. I just happen to be the uh, director for our region, which is Region 3. Um, I curtail their bowling centers like uh, State and Ilian, Kingpin in Rome, uh, Adirondack Lanes, uh, Panorama. They're under. They're all under me, and most, most of them, uh, well, even Boonville is with us too. And they, they call me periodically to ask advice and what's going on. And I give them the best of my knowledge. Yeah. Now, as far as leagues, we are going to have some league meetings. Starting Wednesday, I'll have league meetings with the officers and secretaries of the leagues. And then um, they will set up meetings for their uh, own league with their bowlers. Okay. Now, we have to specify all the guidelines, and they have to adhere to it, or else we can lose our liquor license if we yeah. don't do yeah. things the right way. And we just saw that recently happen in, in two instances locally. So they're out and they're looking. Tony, um, did you have a good first day yesterday? Were there were there a lot of people in there uh, bowling yesterday? Well, actually, I'm not opening. My first day of opening is going to be Thursday. Okay. And my summer hours are going to be just Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay. Um, okay. We're going to open at 3 p.m. and then see how it is. We'll probably stay open until 9, 10 o'clock at night. Bowling business isn't very popular in the summertime. We, 
our bowling actually starts the day after Labor Day with leagues and and all that. And um, hopefully that with leagues, the hard part about that is the social distancing. Yeah. The yeah. way it is now, if you if I have a twenty lane center, and if you have a team bowling on lane one, the team they're bowling against will bowl on lane three. Right. We have to hit, and that's going to be pretty tough to regulate. We're trying to get a change that at least the two teams can bowl on a pair of lanes and then have a pair open. That would be more beneficial for the league bowlers and it'd be beneficial for us to keep track of it. It almost seems like that should be allowed considering you're they're the requiring masks. masks. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. You you are correct, but but it's still It is what it is. is yeah. Every other lane has to be empty. Okay. Um open, open bowling if someone wants to come in, we can have up to 6 uh patrons on one lane and then the lane next to them has to be empty. We okay. have to w- our, our method is going to be that they pick a bowling ball, they'll bring it up to the counter, we're sanitize it for them, then they'll bring it down bowling, they bowl, we tell them leave it back on the ball return, we'll pick it up, we'll put it away, we have to clean it. Okay. There's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of extra work, but yep, we're willing about- to do it. Uh, willing to do it just to uh, just to open up. So, so and just I a, get it. Just a quick clarification oh, yeah. for for yeah. for those who are tend to be in leagues. Uh, the only thing yeah. longer, first of all, the only thing longer than the bowling season, which goes what September to almost April, I think, is is the winter. That's the yeah. only season <laughs> longer than the bowling season. Yeah. But it's 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 well, a fun as, great. As luck luck had it, is that this COVID happened in March. Right. And in our business, December, January, February, March is our most profitable business because, believe it or not, we do a lot of fundraisers. Uh, we're big with the uh, local volunteer fire mm-hmm. departments. We have big tournaments with that. Um, we raise money for cancer. We raise money for autism. We have kids that bowl on, on, uh, in their own groups. Um, and we get the college bowlers, too. We yeah. give them a special on Fridays. But we're, we're pretty busy with bowling in those months and unfortunately when we shut down march the 15th it's been 151 days since we're allowed to be open so wow. it's been tough yeah so just a quick clarification on a league night usually you would have the teams kind of go back and forth between the lanes right i mean you you alternate lanes on your shots that wouldn't be, the way it's set up now you're on your lane for the night right you're on that lane for the night yeah. you, you can't rotate because yeah. if you were bowling on lane one you can't go to two if somebody is bowling on lane three. Sure. I just wanted to be, clarify that. They'll be yep. close together. At the way it is now, but yep. we're trying to get a change. All right. Okay. All right, Tony. Well, congratulations. Good luck. Good luck. I hope you have a great uh, upcoming fall and winter season. And uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you guys are back open. All right. Thanks for having All me. All right. Thanks so much.